Elrond Half-Elven fears that the remaining Nazgul has enlisted the aid of the Gaunt Lord Drogoth to instill a fell spirit into the frozen corpse of the ancient dragon Thorog and raise the beast once more as a white. Little time remains to stop their evil plans. Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Bjorning and we're entering into Helgrod where we will run the instance fire and ice. We are to thwart the plans of a Nazgul to who seeks to raise a dead dragon turn it into a white which is going to be real nasty. Well, all whites are nasty enough and this one will be even nastier. Because let's face it, a white the size of size of a dragon will be no. and I even found a page of the Hobbit's Holiday how about that well, look how much damage the white Scorgrim did as a white so you could imagine how much trouble we would get from the dragon probably make it probably makes Scorgrim look like a uh, Oh, he died before he finished. All right, well, I guess I don't have any trouble with that. All right. Well, let's head down. Go to this. Obelisk. A plaque on the side of the obelisk is written in several tongues. It reads... I, Durin, Lord of Caldadoom, have delved this vault with the aid of the Gwathid Mirade. To protect the great riches found here, there are obelisks crafted by the arts of the elves as a token of friendship. Only those who invoke the name of the Star Kindler may pass. Three times three are the obelisks, and three times must you speak. Therefore, we need to invoke the name of Elbereth at three obelisks. It looks like it advanced the quest. Good, because I've had planes in the past where it didn't do that properly. Alright, Good. Let's get rid of this disease. And how about that? Those hope tokens I bought earlier in the last episode. Duration 15 minutes. Well, I am going to use one now. Since I have three of them, I sh that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But the idea there is to keep me from being tempted to... I really don't like it when I am just too slow in bringing that about. Or like when I do something like, do a completely different skill and... Oh, come on! It's like every time I use up my... Every time I'm on cooldown, don't have breath or anything like that, that's when they bring it not. But I'm all nice and ready now. Alright. Get rid of that. And let's head back up here. And take care of these. And, oh. <sighs> let's see. Alright, here we go. It is annoying that he's back there doing his archery. So, therefore, we will move up to him. Yeah, that's why I waited on that guy. I was hoping that he wouldn't come back so quickly. 
to pull that other group with him. Because I knew that if we drew him, we drew all the group that was, that was in the back. Alright. What I didn't know was his patrol pattern. Oh, come on! Come on! I want to hit these guys, not the guys way on the back! Hey! It certainly doesn't... know anything about logic in... Selecting targets. Okay. High Priest. I'm uh, sure we're going to get plenty of things for me to interrupt here. That they're going to do as soon as I do something like... Yeah! Oh, it looks like I did interrupt one because I only see one blue spear. So, not all is lost. Okay, good. And take this one down, and I invoke the name Elbereth. Yay, it's not bugged. All right, good. And that's one down. How am I doing with my pages? That's what I really. That's what I want to know. Is class. You only on your board genealogy three three. I have three on all of them, which means I have only one more from the cold region for each. So it may be that I'll actually finish that half before leaving the Misties. That will be unusual. But I think it's unusual just doing the Misties all at once and not bouncing all around before doing it. Oh, come on! Annoying. Annoying, annoying, annoying. You know you're annoying. There you go. That's... That's what you get for being annoying. Alright, now... Let's take care of these guys. Okay, okay, I am interrupting them. Okay, that's good to see. It's just that you have several going on at once that it's hard to tell sometimes. Alright, let's see. We've got that one there, that one there. Make sure I don't miss anything. Actually, I think there is a possibility I missed one, but I don't think... I think that the one I missed is optional. So we will go through here. Oh, fell spirits! Oh joy! Oh joy! Oh joy! Alright, Eric. I'm just used to the warren where when I do an interrupt to the warren it's very, very loud and obvious because I'm either kicking or doing flashing blades and stuff like that. With the Yorni, it's this completely quiet skill. So, I'm not noticing it when I succeed in doing it. So I've been thinking all this time that I haven't been doing any interrupts. Of course, when you have two going out at the same time, uh, then that also makes it tougher. Alright. You know he's going to do... Aren't, aren't you going to do that thing yet you usually do when someone dies? Alright, fine. Goodbye. Done. Good. Ah, Elbereth. This is going a little bit faster than usual. Alright, that's two out of three down. So let's find the third. 
And then we get the real joyous fight. Fighting a Nazgul. Always joyous. Alright, let's head off this way. Let's take care of a couple of fell spirits. Done. Oh, well, we better take care of these. Certainly don't want him going around fighting company. Yeah, those silk spinners. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to get her. Yeah, those silk spinner. Yeah, definitely a silk spinner because I've got a spider here. So, let's see if we can take care of the silk spinner and the spider. Look out! Alright, done. Now down this way. Yeah, take care of these two. Done. Let's see, we go this way? Yeah, I, I guess it is this way. All right. Oh, smart call. Oh, that looks like just a side area. So we head this way? This way? Oh, that's the... Alright, which... Oh, is... Is that the third one? Alright. No, it looks like there's a... Point there. Just better make sure there isn't one here. I don't want to go all the way out and then find out that it was here all the time. And okay, it makes it look like that there might be something this way, but I don't see it. So therefore, let us go around. I obviously did miss one that was important. Try it again. Oh. Here's... There it is. Moment there I thought I was going to have to go all the way back. Didn't you? Only a little bit. Oh, these guys are pathetic. Get rid of that. these guys. And... Alright, alright, alright. Fine. Done. Now, see if the obelisk is here. Whoops! Uh, oh yeah, this group. I think this priest is going to get again. You see, it's just going to be summoning more and more, I think, until you have them all dead. the third obelisk. That's good. Hey, 
Okay. There we go. Now I got it. Now I got it. Oh. Maybe what if I turn to a bear end. Punch him. Yeah, like that. Alright, let's get rid of that. And everything clear here? Good. Ah, uh, Elbereth. Okay, that should open up the next section. But I see that I have two and a half minutes left. On this little thing. But I think by the time we finish the story bit of it and get to the actual fight... The cooldown will be over, and I'll be able to start the next one. I think, I don't know whether or not that actually came in handy during this fight, whether a plus one would have been enough, but I know we need, well, I personally think we probably need plus three or four, but that's an entirely different matter. And we have arrived, and boy, look at here, a one dead dragon. And a Drugoth the Deathmonger and a Nazgul. I tire of this. Enough! Do what we came to do. Send the power into the mighty dragon. Send the power into this mighty dragon. Ooh, ow. Ow, oh. Send your power into this mighty dragon. So it kills the white and sends the resulting spirit into the dragon. So let's see how many spirits it takes to wake a dragon, I guess. Arise, spirits! Help bring this great beast back to the world! Ooh. Arise, spirits! Help bring this great beast back to the world! Uh, uh oh. Can't be a very good flyer with all that. Uh, no, he's breaking free! The meddling of these fools has broken my control! I shall deal with this witless worm. Oh, 22 seconds into the fight! Oh, wonderful! Well, let's see, what is the dread level? Plus three thread. All right. But I don't need to change that as soon as. No, not yet. There we go. Hold, hold up the hope token. Good, good. No, don't change that. I'm unarmed now. Oh, good grief. Wrong buttons. Getting disarmed. Not enough hope. Oh, he... Yeah, okay. That's it. Actually, I think... No, 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 no! Oh. Now I'm looking at this thing while he's casting spells. Oh. Let's get rid of that thing. Now let's get back to the Nazgul. Oh, come on! when things just stun you with no means of getting out of it. That, that fell spirit isn't exactly a real fun person to be facing either. Actually, now I think of it, it looks like it's... It's Dread 3. I think it's Dread 3 after my 2, so therefore it looks like it's a... A plus five would have been more in order. But there weren't any in the octopus, at least none at my level. Alright. Alright. 
Fool, you cannot be slain by your arts. I return to Mordor and my master. Yeah, okay. So even though you defeat the Nazgul, he... All it does is it sends him back to Mordor. But we have thwarted his plans and rid him himself. And we got rid of him, so he's no longer in the... lands that we're at. So therefore, next time we will return to Elrond where we will tell him what happened. But that's in the next episode of Piney Plays The Bjorni.